Welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about passing multiple parameters to a function. As you can see here, I have in my main function uh, these three different integer variables all assigned different integer values and then I have the integer result. And so what I'm doing is taking these three integer va uh, variables and adding them together and storing them into result and then printing that result out to the screen. So let's say that I want to, inst instead of having this code in the main body, I want to create a function and I want to pass these three parameters to that function. Well, let's go ahead and go below the main function and start our start de start defining our function. So we don't want to return anything. We just we want to print the result out to the screen. So it'll just be void since we're not returning anything. And let's just call it add three. And then we'll go ahead and start the body here. Now in the parentheses, that's where we want to pass our three variables. And it's going to be three integers. So we could just do int x, int y, int z. And notice how we just we just separate them with commas within these parentheses. So in this case, we have three parameters. So we have two commas separating them. If we were to have four parameters, we would have three commas separating them. So, so just as long as you know to separate them with commas, you're good. OK, and uh, let's just make an integer value variable. Let's call it the result. And let's assign the re result the value of adding x, y, and z. And then we want to print it out to the screen. OK. And uh, let's go ahead and delete this here. Since we won't be needing this code, we've defined it down here in our add3 function. Instead, what we need to do from the main function is call the add3 function and pass it a, b, and c. So we just do add3 and then pass it a, b, c. And there we go. And then uh, from the main function, it'll go down here. X will get the value of A, Y will get the value of B, and Z will get the value of C. And then go ahead and add those three, put it into the result, and print it out to the screen. Now we're forgetting one more thing here. We've uh, just exactly how we uh, declare our variables. We need to declare our uh, uh, function here. So we need to do that above the main function. So pretty much all, all you need to do is take this here and copy it, paste it, and add a semicolon at the end of it. Uh, that is our function declaration. And do take note that these here, uh, the names of the variables, is optional. We don't need those. As long as we say that, OK, well, uh, it's going to be an integer that's going to be passed. It's really, um, it's just you don't have to have the names of the variables. But uh, some people do choose to do so just um, because they, it's just a choice um, or a convention that they follow. But just know that it's optional. So let's go ahead and run our code to make sure it runs properly. And as you can see, it says the result is 12. And adding 2 plus 4 plus 6, that is equivalent to 4. So there we go. We have successfully written a function that takes more than one parameter and have executed it. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and I hope to see you in upcoming videos. That concludes this tutorial.